if I close my store, it's probably going to be for good um, at this point. Cause Since Jennifer Graff reopened her time. downtown Greensboro boutique, Vintage to Vogue, at the beginning of phase one back in May, it's been a struggle to break even. The sales have been cut in half from last year. The drop in sales forced Graff to make cuts to staff. She's tried to capitalize on website sales, but trying to manage that and her brick and mortar shop on her own has been difficult. And as she watches COVID-19 case counts rise, she's worried about tighter restrictions possibly returning, but says her conscience also comes into play. We do face the fear of that might be something that will happen again here. Um, and even if it doesn't, are we being responsible keeping our stores open? Over at Vivid Interiors in downtown Greensboro, Gina Hicks and Laura Mensch say they've seen people take more interest in interior design during the pandemic. Everybody's at home. I think they're noticing you know, any flaws, any any issues that they've you know, had to stare at since March. They say retail sales are still slow, but the two are encouraging everyone to shop local, especially heading into the holiday season. I want everybody to do their Christmas shopping downtown. The money that you spend locally goes to stays in Greensboro. Knowing it might be some small business owners last hope at keeping their doors open. There's also more help for some businesses through Governor Roy Cooper's latest executive order. Full service restaurants can apply for mortgage and rent assistance up to $20,000. For more information, visit our website, WFMYNews2.com.